Oof. Ah, my leg knee. Ooh. Wait, lean on it? No, not gonna work there. Hey guys, it's Alyssa, and this is Alyssa Explains It All. Episode I have no idea. I haven't been keeping track of that mentally. Like when I type it in on the computer, it's there, but not up here. Today's episode is gonna be all about Johnson Hall. Johnson Hall is the all freshman hall and a lot of people want to live in a freshman dorm and want to know exactly what Johnson offers to freshmen. I will highlight the other residence halls as a comparison, but brief, most of it will mostly be on Johnson itself. Johnson is located on Lakeside. It's also connected to Lakeside Dining Hall, so literally it's right there, it's inside. It's not like there's a tunnel, it's literally right inside. So that's a luxury if you do live in Johnson, you can just go downstairs, you can go to the dining hall. Johnson Hall is basically helping freshmen with being freshmen, with being the youngest people on campus and transitioning into college. Johnson Hall is all freshmen, like I said, so that means everybody is going on the same path. I have mentioned this in past videos, but this time I'm going to talk about it, a little more specifics about Johnson Hall. I lived in Johnson Hall last year for second semester. I really enjoyed it. First semester, when I heard my friends talking about what they had to do while living there, I wasn't very jealous, but when I got to move in and then it become a part of it, it was really, really nice. Let us talk about the requirements. You need to do this thing called GST, which is basically like a credit. So you get a credit for one thing in Johnson. When I was in Johnson, there was a specific thing you had to follow. Even the first semester, my friends had to follow a specific thing. Now I think you have to take a class with your hours and stuff like that. What GST is, it's kind of like you have to earn the credit. So you have to do a certain amount of community service hours. You have to go to a certain amount of programs that people offer and you need to complete it by a specific date and then you have to do a summary essay of what Johnson has taught you and how it has benefited you as a person. If you do not do all these hours and if you do not complete the stuff by that specific date, you will get kicked out of Johnson. They will physically move you out. The cool thing about Johnson is that they don't really have RAs. They have RMs. RMs are re resident mentors. They are there to help you transition into college. And they are there to help you gain those hours. They run a program every week. At least I think all of them have to at least run one once a week or something like that. You need help with hours, if you need help with school, social, any personal things, they are there for you. Comparing to other dorm rooms, they are a little bit spacious and a little bit bigger. They come with a dresser, not a closet like this, and they come with obviously a desk and a bed and the drawers and everything. It just says the room's a little bit bigger. So, and there's two windows. So like, just like picture this room a little bigger and spacious. Let me talk about the bathrooms. You get the luxury of the bathroom. You walk in and there will be two stalls of toilets for you. One's big, one's normal. And you have, you know, the four sinks and the showers. So you have, there's a, it's like another stall. So you have the shower stall door and then you have the normal curtains. You have all the space. So you have a lot of space to put all your stuff. You got a lot of space to, like get changed and plus you have that locked door so like no one can really get in. You have a little shelf for you to put your caddy so you don't have to like leave it on the floor or anything. Johnson Hall is co-ed, just all freshmen. You may have a opposite sex across from you or next to you. Johnson Hall is just very nice. It's air conditioned, yeah, you can kind of control it. And I, I mean, I don't know why you would need that in the winter, but when the summer does come or when you first get there, it's gonna be very, very hot. So that's good to have the air conditioning to control. You have a kitchen on every floor. It comes with a microwave and an oven and a sink. So you can like go make an omelet or pancakes if you want and go heat up your mac and cheese if you really, really need to. You guys also had questions for me about all this stuff. Alex and he says, how about your opinion on staying in an all-door freshman versus a mixed dorm? Pretty good because you 
you don't really know anybody, they don't really know you. So I literally, even though I didn't live in Johnson my first semester, I literally walked around with my friends and we knocked on everybody's door with an RM and just said hi. We introduced ourselves, we said what major, we just said hi. Like I didn't care to be friends with any of them, but it was really nice to see them. They were really happy to see me, you know what I mean? Living in a mixed dorm, doesn't really matter. I don't even know who's older than me or my age, honestly. And I don't even know who's a freshman when I'm here. Dylan says, why does it seem like people are most interested in Johnson? Because it's just really, really nice and it's all freshmen and it's air conditioned and it's right by Lakeside. Steve says, I wanna know about living in Cayuga or Seneca. If you could do that, that would be much appreciated. Cayuga and Seneca, I live in Seneca now. So Cayuga, it's the same thing. I mean, Seneca is 10 floors. We have the most residents. Cayuga is only three, four floors and it's an elevator and it's just wider so it's on west campus and they're both connected to pathfinder dining hall so compared to johnson they're not luxurious but they are really really nice i like it here if i was able to just stay here forever i would annalee says how was your first week there first week at johnson i don't remember I know that the first week when I came to school, I went to Johnson like a billion times and everybody was really, really nice. Sarah, how was your first week at Johnson? Glorious. Everybody was so nice. Stop being sarcastic. <laughs> Welcoming, I don't know, it was very warm. Everybody came to see you. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. There's your answer. <laughs> what should we be most prepared for going into the year, says David. You're gonna get a lot of work to do, you're gonna make a lot of friends, and you're gonna make right choices. <laughs> I'm the master commander. <laughs> it's Monday. Yes! It's a Monday, I had to say it. Yes! <laughs> You're awesome, I'm awesome, and thank you for watching this video. And uh, I hope that you choose a great dorm. Either dorm is really good for you to choose. If you want to subscribe to this channel, you should do that. Because you can find out when I make more or less explains at all. And uh, soon as we go, also post a lot of other videos that are quite useful. And you should go check those out too. Because some are about residence halls. They actually interview people um, about which hall that they live in and why they like it. If you want to subscribe to my personal YouTube channel, you can click this box right here. And it will take you there. That's if you just want to see my face more often. I'm going to try to make a couple more videos for that channel. So check it out. If you have any questions or comments or other video ideas, you can... Tweet me at listless15. You can just look me up on Twitter and direct message me, follow me, tweet me. I will answer back. I'm a very nice person and very social. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys around, okay? All right. Bye. Wow. What's also really cool at Johnson Hall is that they. Nope, not that. Ow.